this week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch. Ooh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, is uh, proudly powered by Pure VPN. The best way to protect your privacy online is with Pure VPN. You can hide your online activities, say goodbye to regional restrictions, and improve your streaming quality. Plus, it's available for almost all of your devices, and you can get a special price and a 31-day money-back guarantee by going to pilchpoint.live slash purevpn. All right, Avram. Even though the world is in a bit of chaos, it's that time of year, right? Yes. So, obviously, there's a lot of debate going on about whether or not uh, children and even university students should be going uh, physically back to school. Um, I'm not going to uh, spend this time weighing in on, on it, uh, but we know for a fact that uh, a lot of them will not be going back. A lot of universities, a lot of school districts already have said that they're doing um, that they're doing uh, remote learning. Uh, so the traditional, so this is the time of the year where uh, we usually talk about back to back to school products. Uh, but I wanted to talk about uh, products that uh, you could use to enhance your, school experience uh even if your school experience is happening right at home um so i think this um actually presents some new uh some different needs than you have when you're um when you're sure that you're going into a school building uh for one uh this could be an opportunity for folks who are you know say uh, eh, I even think with younger kids to go for a desktop rather than a laptop. Uh, if there's desk space in your house, uh, this might be an opportunity for you to have build yourself to upgrade your desktop or uh, have a really good gaming rig and know that, hey, I, I don't necessarily need to invest a lot in a laptop right now because I'm not going anywhere unless, of course, you're going uh, somewhere within your house like to the couch. Um, but, uh, if you are, um, thinking about it, uh, desktop, uh, this, this would be a good time to look at, um, if you have an existing one, um, uh, spending, spending some money to get yourself up to 16 gig or 32 gig of Ram, uh, this would be a good time to look at. Um, but you, if you have an, whether even if you have an existing laptop, uh, upgrading yourself to a higher capacity SSD, uh, you can still get a terabyte for under $150. Uh, so plenty of storage space. Um, it's also a great time, a really good time to be looking for, uh, to be looking for a new monitor. Um, or multiple new monitors. Uh, now, obviously, monitors are something that people have that last a long time. The monitors I'm looking at right now on my desk, I must admit, I think are I think these are older than my son, who's eight. Uh, but um, you can get some really good good quality monitors, particular that allow you to not only do schoolwork, but also you know, do some gaming. For example, uh, our favorite budget at Thomas Hardware, our favorite budget gaming laptop is the Acer XFA 240, which is a 24 inch. And that's just 199. And that's actually, you know, not a spectacular price if you were, um, you know, just going for any 24 inch monitor because you could get those for under 100. I, but this is 144 hertz. I have to interrupt. That's for a monitor, yeah. not a laptop. Yes. Okay. Just, I just wanted to clarify because I think I heard you say laptop. I, I know that's oh, where did our, I? I know that's where our minds are. So I just wanted to clarify. That's for a yes. twenty-four so, inch, one forty-four hertz monitor. Yes. Okay. So those, that's something that you, 
uh, that you could easily get that would really upgrade your, your experience. We've got a list on Tom's Hardware of Best Gaming Monitors. Another thing that you really want to look at is, um, is your webcam. And this is true whether you have a laptop or a desktop, because uh, laptop built-in webcams are usually pretty terrible, even on the best laptops. So uh, there's still a shortage of it's still expensive and difficult to find uh, log to find Logitech, uh, which is the brand Logitech webcams, which is the by far the most popular brand. Uh, but um, you can get uh, you you can definitely get yeah it's it's like impossible to get a Log Logitech C920, which is the most popular. But what you can get, uh, and we've tested, is a some uh, a rather not well known brand called Austom, A U S D O M. The Austom AF six forty uh, goes for ninety dollars, and that is a ten eighty p camera that is almost as good as a Logitech, uh, and definitely better than anything that was built into your into a laptop. Um, that is, you know, obviously something that you you want to look at if you're doing distance learning. You want a good webcam. Um, you also you also might want to consider, um, you know, what type of headset you have. Um, look for a good quality USB headset. Um, right now, I'm wearing a, you know, the standard Logitech one that is about thirty dollars. Uh, but obviously, if you want to do gaming also, uh, there's some really great choices out there. I really like the, um, I, I um, really like the Patriot, uh, Patriot Memories uh, Viper headset. Uh, really, really uh, good, qual good quality, comfortable um, USB headset. And uh, it has really cool looking RGB. Um, that way when you're on, on the conference call with your teacher, you can just turn your head and they can see RGB and they'll give you a higher grade. I'm sure of it. Um, finally, uh, to talk about laptops for a second, if you do want to get a laptop, um, the, the best, um, uh, laptop, the best in terms of just something thin and light for productivity, uh, is to get an ultrabook uh, a laptop that's under three pounds uh we really like and have found a really really good prices currently on h hp specter x360 um the specter x360 uh you can get it for some really really low prices uh really really low prices right now uh you can get it for as low as 750 uh, the 13 inch model on hp.com. Uh, that is with, uh, that's with the, that's with the slightly older processor. So you pay over a thousand for the 10th gen, I think processor, but eighth gen processor is very good. Uh, the design is great. It comes with a, a stylus. Um, so, uh, lots to think about. We've got a list, uh, on Tom's hardware of, of, uh, back to school of ways to uh, to uh, back to school upgrades and back to school uh, back to school buying advice for the things that you need because uh, even if you're not going anywhere you're still going back to school right and and with new rules right <laughs> think things are different and so you know the the needs may be different this year so it's uh even if Maybe you're going into your sophomore year of college. Maybe your needs are going to be different because uh, school's going to be a little different this year. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no question about it. Um, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of people doing distance learning, and uh, so so you need more than ever to make sure that you've you've got a good setup at home, including good internet. And uh, for that, I, I have no fantastic advice. Get good internet. 
Oh, poor Avram. <laughs> for for those who who may have missed it at the beginning of the show, Avram spent several days without internet. <laughs> Due to no I mean, fault look, of his own. There's real tragedy going. There's real tragedy going on in this world, and, and being without internet isn't a tragedy, but it is a drain of productive. It is a drain of productivity, and and a problem. Uh, it just it struck me a lot uh, that to to think like, hey, you're the way that I'm thinking of internet now, and even my wife and kids are thinking of internet now, is the way that we think of a power outage, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is is funny. Like you'd leave your house if you knew your power was going to be out for three days, probably. But who would have thought I leave? I'm leaving my house because I have no internet for three days. Yeah, because you know, with with all of us working working remote, it's uh, it's an essential piece. We can't we can't connect to the rest of our colleagues and um, our tools without it. So, you know, it's it's an important piece of the puzzle for sure. Yep. So, well, Abram. Uh, it's, it's always, it's always good to get some, some advice, uh, especially with things being out and some alternatives. You know, you mentioned the, the C920 and sitting here in the studio while I look at you, I'm looking at one. And so I, that, that's they're in high demand. I know. And that's, I have one too. They're in high. And that's, that's how high, high, high demand. That's how important they are is, I mean, it's literally our backup camera here in the studio. It's such a good quality that we use it as our backup in the studio and have for yeah. many, many years. We had a 910 before that, and we switched to a 920 as, as the studio backup. So, I mean, it's, yeah. they're, they're a great camera. And so, uh, so, you know, to have a backup since they're basically inaccessible right now is, is important. So definitely, uh, yeah. Definitely appreciate that. And as yeah, always, Avery, out, uh, we yep. have. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say we have a list of the best webcams you can buy right now on Tom's Hardware. Um, and uh, of varying prices, but the one that the one that seems to be in in a decent price is the Austin AUSDOM. Excellent. Well, that's that's good to know because people have asked me, and uh, I always go searching on uh on tom's hardware <laughs> to get to get an answer for them so that's good good to have that answer uh and as always Avram, uh i i appreciate your time i look forward to what we'll talk about next week 